Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Valeria and this is Endless Unboxing. I post doll related content on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe. I am an adult doll collector and of course I had to collect some of the Barbie movie dolls. I do have about mm, three more of them. Uh, that I've already unboxed and are already in my collection, but I decided to go ahead and film Gloria, aka Ordinary Barbie. Um, and actually, I loved America Ferreira's performance in this movie. One of the scenes that actually made me literally cry was the part where a Barbie was all depressed and she didn't feel good enough and Gloria was talking about how hard it is to be a woman. That whole scene just had me in tears because it's so relatable. And yeah, why can't we just be ordinary? <laughs> um, so taking a closer look at her, I do think that she does look like America Ferreira, but in a more cartoon form, I don't think that the doll looks like realistically like America Ferreira, but definitely like a cartoon version of her, absolutely. And so here she is. I absolutely adore her face mold. She is so, so, so pretty. Um, but yeah, so I am going to be unboxing her and taking a closer look. But one thing I wanna bring awareness to and talk about really quickly in this video is if you have not gotten your hands on one of the Barbie movie dolls, please, please, please do not buy from scalpers, okay? There is a big issue. It's always been a big issue, but I haven't seen it as big as the Barbie the movie dolls. People have been price gouging these dolls like it's nobody's business, and it's honestly getting so ridiculous. I really wish third-party sites like Macari, eBay, Amazon, Walmart would stop allowing third party sellers to inflate prices to the point where it's absolutely ridiculous. Any Barbie the movie dolls should not be anywhere over $25 to $50. The collectible dolls are $50, no more than that. The Playline dolls, the one with the gingham dress, the uh, Playline Ken, those two are about $25. Look at the Mattel creation sites for the actual prices of the dolls. If people are trying to charge you anything more than that, they are scalpers. Do not buy from them. They ruin everything. And if you, if you buy from them, you're literally just encouraging that type of behavior to continue what these people do is they buy up the stock and they resell it for three four five times the price trust me these dolls will be back in stock mattel has been very very slow in production i don't think that they even imagine the kind of success that barbie would have throughout this movie i don't think that they were prepared for it so they're consistently running out of stock due to the popularity of the movie but also due to freaking scalpers so guys please i beg of you wait be patient all of these dolls will be back in stock mattel never said that these dolls were exclusive or limited edition or anything of that nature so with the exclusion of that one fox for fox fur ken doll which is 75 dollars, all the other dolls are 50 dollars and under so please do not pay more than $50 for any Barbie movie dolls. And don't pay more than $25 for Gingham Barbie, uh, the Playline Ken, or the Rollerblade dolls. That is all they're worth, okay? Th these dolls are not worth $100. They're not worth $200, $300. Even Western Barbie, she's only worth $50. Stop overpaying for these dolls, you guys. Be patient. They will be back in stock. This Gloria doll was out of stock for a while and I wanted her so bad. Finally got notification that she was back in stock and I only paid about 45 bucks for her. Do not overpay. I repeat, do not overpay. The fashion packs are $50. The Hot Wheels uh, convertible, $50. The only uh, convertible that is $75 is the collectible one. So again, please be careful with these eBay scalpers, Amazon, they're all over the place and they are overcharging. They're scamming you. 
I just can't talk about it enough. It's something that truly makes me really angry and I'm actually very passionate about. I cannot stand resellers. I really despise them. My hate for them is so deep. <laughs> And I'm sorry to go off on a little rant on this video, but I just want to bring awareness and just warn new doll collectors because I know Barbie is inspiring a lot of people to start collecting again. And I am so excited for you guys. I actually started collecting because of Ariel. Um, that, that's what made me want to uh, start uh, collecting again as an adult. It was my first live action Ariel doll. And so I kind of got into doll collecting again. So... If you're a new doll collector, welcome to this space, welcome to this world, but don't take, don't let yourself be taken advantage of by scalpers. You will get the doll that you want. Just please be patient and look up the prices, look up what she's actually worth before you actually buy her. Okay. Okay. Rent over. Let's get back to this Gloria doll. Taking a closer look at her outfit, it's kind of like a cute business casual type of outfit. I do really like it, but I do plan on changing her clothes and you're going to see later on in the video. I kind of want her to look a little bit more girly. Um, not that this isn't girly, but like in a dress. <laughs> and as all the Barbie, the movie collectibles it comes with its own certificate of authenticity. I really love to look at these too. And here she is. I've already unboxed her. So it looks like she comes in a petite uh, body. So again, I absolutely adore her face sculpt. Now this particular doll though, I noticed that her hairline, like it's, it's got a lot of gaps in the rooting. So I don't think they did the rooting correctly. I don't know. It could have just been a mistake. I'm, it could have just been my own doll, but I wonder if anybody else, if anybody else's doll has the same problem. You see her hairline? There's just way too many gaps. I don't like that. I guess it can be concealed, but personally, I don't like that. That really bothered me. Um, so I might have to fix that. Maybe like paint in between. I, I mean, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know if anybody else's doll was like that. So, but here's my Margot Robbie doll. So this was the doll with the um, plaid uh, outfit with the hat and the blue heels. So I went ahead and changed her outfit. Obviously, <laughs> I love changing my doll's outfits. But um, yeah, it's that doll. One thing, though, that I noticed that was really weird was the fact that Gloria's body is fully articulated. Like, I mean, like a fully made to move body, like she's in a petite made to move body, whereas Barbie only had articulations in certain points, like her knees, her elbows and her hands, not her arms, not her thighs, not her feet. So I thought that was really strange. I was wondering if it was because Gloria was a human in the movie and Barbie was a doll. I wonder if that had anything to do with it, but I still feel like that's a little weird. I, I don't know what is it with Mattel, but they have such an inconsistency that I do not appreciate sometimes. Why do they do this? Their pricing should match the doll. I feel like for $50, these dolls should be fully articulated. All their dolls that they are trying to charge $50, $60, $75 for should be in a fully made to move body. Why do they do this? They're so inconsistent. Like they do this a lot and it's so annoying. Both of these dolls are the same exact price. Why is it that Barbie, the main character, is not in a fully made to move body, but Gloria is? <laughs> like it's so weird. It doesn't make any sense. Like, oh my gosh, are you guys with me? Like, do you guys agree? Because it, this is just ridiculous. Like, they're both $50. Why is Margot Robbie not in a fully made to move body? It's so weird. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I've just been ranting. I've been a little snippy today. <laughs> but it's just something that I feel like if I'm paying good money for a doll, because $50 is a lot for a doll, they should both be fully articulated in a made to move body. Like, it just makes zero sense to me that Gloria is in a made-to-move body, but not Barbie. Like, it, 
oh my gosh it's so weird but anyways let's go ahead and change her outfit i want her to look a little bit more cute with like a floral pattern here i have this barbie fashion pack from amazon and here she is i decided to keep her shoes i added a little bag there and oh my goodness she's so cute i thought the dress looked so gorgeous on her it's so pretty <laughs> So here she is. I absolutely love this doll. I really, really like this doll. Oh my goodness. You see, like, she has a fully made to move body. I just can't believe this. Like, <laughs> but yeah, here she is. I'm definitely probably going to restyle her hair maybe in the future. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think of this doll let me know you if you guys have this doll let me know if you have any other barbie the movie dolls or which one are you planning on getting the one that i really still want is the president barbie one which i haven't been able to get my hands on because it sold out and scalpers got a hold of it before i could so she's also being price gouged it's ridiculous but I do have uh, the plaid Margot Robbie, I have the Ginga Margot Robbie, and I have Ken and now Gloria. So I'm super excited. Um, but definitely, I'm looking forward to getting the Rollerblade Barbies as well. And yeah, I absolutely love the movie. What did you guys think of the movie? Because I adored it. I loved it. It was so funny, so entertaining, but also so real. I definitely cried. Like I said, the scene with America Ferreira trying to talk to Barbie. Oh my goodness. It was just a beautiful scene. Um, and I loved it. I loved it. And I really, really love the fact that Barbie is back. Not that she ever went away. I just feel like, you know, this year was definitely the Barbie year. <laughs> um, and I got so inspired this year. Um, and I invite new doll collectors with open arms because I just hate the fact that people think just because you're an adult, you can't enjoy things that you did as a child. Being an adult can really, really, really suck sometimes. I'll be... <laughs> I'll be completely honest. So dolls just kind of take me to a whole different world and I love collecting them. And that's kind of why I opened up a channel too, because I just want my channel to be a safe place for you to embrace your inner child and not be ashamed. There is no shame in a doll collecting and being an adult doll collector or collecting toys or collecting action figures or whatever, whatever it is that you like to collect. There's no shame in it. Um, I absolutely enjoy it and like I said it is a hobby that I love and I'm so glad that I got back into so yeah thank you guys so much for spending time with me for listening to me listening to me talk and watching me unbox these beautiful dolls um go ahead and post your comments down below let me know what you think subscribe to this video I mean <laughs> subscribe to my channel like the video um you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok both endless unboxing surprises TikTok is endless unboxing and um yeah hopefully you guys will see me in my next video and definitely post your comments recommendations down below and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye